I was gonna really just put the nail in the coffin of the heliocentric model. I understand that you go through the stages of grief when you realize that you've been lied to. That you're gonna get, you're gonna feel angry, you're gonna bargain, you're gonna, all this stuff. I understand. This is the absolute proof. And you never have to say another thing about it. And people get so mad. I get it. You're going through grief. You're mourning grief, ready? What people forget is that it's not a circle around the sun. Even if it was a circle, it'd still be impossible, but it's an ellipse, which means that it changes speed. And unlike the evolution why, where you can just keep adding billions of years, but the billions and billions of years, and the, but it's one year. That's a fixed amount of time and a fixed amount of speed. The Earth, the length of Earth's trajectories around the sun is 940 million kilometers. Thus, the Earth travels about 107,000 kilometers per hour. This means that our planet moves around the sun at an average speed of 30 kilometers per second, or Mach 88, 88 times the speed of sound. So let that sink in. Earth speed, this is the, this is the kicker. Earth speed is not constant as the Earth orbits elliptical orbit. Let that sink in. If you're going 66,000 miles an hour and you change 1% of your speed, and in this model it's significantly more than one, well, you wouldn't even feel it. No, just listen, it's a fixed amount of time. It's one year. If you're, uh, if you change 1%, that's 660 miles an hour. That would, that would liquefy all flesh. If you change one mile an hour, I, I challenge you to walk on a treadmill at one mile an hour and tell a friend to randomly unplug it. You will trip and you will fall down. I challenge you to hold a coffee that's full to the brim as you drive down the street at 60 miles an hour. Just tap on the brake to go 59. The coffee will spill. When you're going 88 times the speed of sound and you have to change speeds, you would feel it. Now, even if the, the psychotic people going through the stages of mourning uh, want to say, oh, no, but you're, you're, no, you're going one mile an hour to 0.97 miles an hour, you would be able to measure it. Can't have it both ways, guys. Not only would you, you can do the math on it because the, the ellipse is fixed and the time is fixed. One year. And you can check out the math of the ellipse. There is a change of speed every year. At minimum, uh, twice a year, at minimum. The way an ellipse works, zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, you can break that down into any fraction you want. It's still one fixed year. Not only would you feel it, it would kill you, but forget all that, you could measure it. You could measure it. And if you don't think you could measure a change in speed, you're lying. Look at a swimming pool. Look at any water. If you just go like this, ripple, ripple, ripple. My ladle's overflowing. Yeah, it's over. Guys, this heliocentric model is over. The earth changes speed going around the sun at Mach 88. And that's why they sent in um, Einstein to say, oh, it's all relative. No, it isn't. If you're going 66,000 miles per hour and there is any change whatsoever in speed, you would feel it. Forget about thousand mile an hour spin, how that couldn't, you couldn't operate a, a plane or you couldn't forget, just this is it. You need no more explanation. If you're going one, not 66,000, one mile per hour and it goes to zero from one, you would trip. And listen, I'm not here to, I've heard the arguments. I hear the arguments all the time. I can read you hundreds of them, of cognitive dissonance of people being like, <clears throat> one of the biggest things you'll hear is anger. They're, they're going through the stages of grief. I don't know if you realize that. That's what it is. I deal with this all the time. It's one reason why my band hammer is so intense. It's grief. They'll get mad at me. They'll say, you, sir, how dare you? I mean, it's so easy to understand. Even an idiot could, LOL. I mean, inertia, and, uh, you know, vortex, I mean, that's grief. And then they'll bargain. Well, it could be, it could be that. It just keep, and then depression. Well, what do we do now? I mean, my whole childhood, just stop. It's not that big a deal. It's more beautiful that it isn't spinning endlessly around the sun. It's way better. <clears throat> it's just like, and this is one of those torpedoes that you can't get around. And there's people that spend their whole day, I think, just trying to troll me and just being like, you sir. It's like, how dare you? It has 1% of speed change, which is, it's way more than that. In the, in the given ellipse, in the given year, you can't change the numbers. The calendar year is set. The rotation is set. So you can't do what they do in evolution. Say, well, in 20 billion years, you know, a hurricane can just create a Ferrari. No, you can't just keep adding years. One year, one ellipse. Change in speed. How do you not measure it? How do you not feel it? How do things not fall over? We're talking about Mach 88. 1% change would liquefy all flesh. There's more than 1% change in speed in the given ellipse, in the given year, in a given moment. 
Dave. P.S. Also included is a plug for the grip. Now he's selling. Plug for the greatest app of all time, exposing the Helio nonsensical model. The Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app available at the App Store and Google Play. There it was. There it was. I had to do it. 